I'm Steph. I'm Michael. And today we're checking out Nanga Parbat. Nanga Parbat. Am I saying that right? Yeah, I think so. All I right. don't know. We need some. <laughs> we need a native speaker to to tell us. Um, from Doctor Finn's games. Yeah. Plays from it plays exactly two players. Now this was in a Kickstarter that included four games: Nanga Parbat, um, Biblios Quill and Parchment. Um, mining Colony, and a game that we've already played on the stream. The Butterfly uh, Garden. Butterfly Garden. All four of them. Uh, they play generally lowish player counts. This one is the only one that I know of that plays exactly two players. And takes, uh, according to the box, 30 minutes. Probably won't take us that long. It probably That's how will long with, you think. It will with the, well, it takes that long with the teach. So, um... So let's uh, go ahead and go to the overhead. Look at that. We can even put the look. We got all this room over here to put the box. Um, like all of the other Doctor Finn's games, um, they it comes with a mini expansion that we're going to go ahead and put in there. Uh, it also comes with a little wooden token. And if you look on the Kickstarter for these four games, there is going to be a, a discussion thread on each of the four pieces to basically ask you know, for suggestions about how this wooden piece should be used because it's not in the rules and it's not in the expansion. It is its own separate little thing. So uh, if you're interested in... Uh, contributing to that, that thread is out there on BGG. You can either probably find it on BGG or by clicking on the Kickstarter and finding that somewhere in the in the project. So in this game, we are basically going to uh, trap animals and build base camps and collect sets of animals and base camps. Anytime we collect an animal, the animals will give us uh, different abilities. So, um, Dot has chosen me to go first. The Echo device has chosen me to go first. I'm so, heads. so oh, has chosen you to go first. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I get to place the guide. Oh, okay. So that's fine. This allows me to place the guide. Uh, I don't know. Let's. Uh, uh, I don't really want to give you any of these, mm -hmm. really. They're all good. No, uh, they are. And so that's the case. Every animal is good in its own way. Yes. You'll see all the little animals on the board. Animal friends. They're randomly placed there at the beginning of the game. Yep. So just basically shuffle them all up in your hand and roll them out there. Um, I don't know. That was a good place where you put it, I think. Sure. So the guide indicates where uh, the active player is going to select from. So... Um, we're going to place one of our six scoring cubes on the zero space of the path. That's called the path cube now. Um, so the game board has six different regions. Each region has six different sections. Um, the region numbers are the ones inside. The flags, the section numbers, are the ones underneath these little aminals. Basically, they're all one, two, three, four, five, six, as you might expect, just going from top to bottom, left to right. Did Steph say spider friend is a good animal? No. The gray animals blend in a bit. Yeah, they they do, do a little bit. We can't I really... Stand them up, maybe that's better. Standing them up... Not really. <laughs> yeah, I don't think standing them up is better. Well, um, soon... If, if you don't see anything, it's then it's gray. a good It's a good chance that it's gray because uh, when we claim them, we are going to be placing our meeples down. And if we get sets of meeples down, we will be placing tents down. So... Um, so on Steph's turn, she is going to trap an animal, and then she will uh, put the animal on her player board. So she has these six animals to choose from. When she traps an animal, um, then she is going. She's going to place it on her region. She has chosen. Oh, what animal is that? I'm going to give it a tar. T A H R. She has trapped a tar. Now. Um, now you are going to place your hiker there. That's step two, which you've done. Step three is moving the guide to the region matching the section. So she took from section one. She is moving it over to region one. So um, if at the start of step, step one, the guide's region has no animals, you have to move 
uh, you must move the guide to a different region holding at least one animal. And then you get to take your animal. So basically, you get to take whatever you want. But it's, not, it's, it's a good thing for that to happen. Um, step four is building camps and trading animals. And that's how you basically score points. Whenever you build camps or trade animals, you're going to put one of your scoring cubes up here on the chart. Uh, if you have a contiguous set of meeples, you can turn them into camps. Uh, if you turn in a set of three, you can take either this four victory point or the two victory point. Highly suggest you go with the higher one if you're the first one there. Um, then contiguous sets of four, five, and six. Now, when that someone is placed there, like let's say I take the set of six, which is going to get me seven points immediately, then that's going to become unavailable for Steph to take. And I'm going to move my little box along the track. Now, let's say that Steph scores seven points by some other method, right? Like by collecting a set of animals. She cannot be on my space. So when she hits this seventh space, and if that's as far as she's going, she gets to slide an additional space. So that's like super good for her. Uh, so you want to try to time those like that whenever possible. Uh, the second line here uh, is for uh, a set of different uh, animals, uh, whether it be three, four, five, or six different animals. And then the bottom line is for the same animals, three, four, five, or six of the same animal. So uh, at any time on Steph's turn, she can use the power of her little animals and she can do as many of them as she has. Um, you can, whenever you're turning in sets of animals, you can turn them in from the activated side or the unactivated side. But once you've turned them in, you will no longer be able to activate them. So let's find out what they do. The snow leopard here, the little cute little snow leopard friend. So the snow leopard uh, lets you switch the places of any two adjacent hikers. The tar that Steph took. There's the tar friend. Mm. The tar lets her switch the places of a hiker and an adjacent animal. The musk deer. There's our musk deer friend. And he's like staying hidden. I think it's a from, goat. From Shrey. It's a musk deer. It is a musk deer. Look, there's no horns. It's a deer. Uh, that allows you to switch the places of any two animals anywhere on the board. Mm. The yak. The, la the yak lets you move the guide to a different region. For easy reference, it tells you on the It board. does tell you right there on the bottom. Um, the baral. B-H-A-R-A-L. Uh, it lets you use it as any other animal type when trading in animals. So it is a wild. So it can act as a same or as a different. Um, does it have an authentic musky smell? No, it does not. Uh, <laughs> and the red pandas. This is a red panda friend. A little dark. It looks um, like a red squirrel. But it yeah. does look like a red squirrel. Uh, if at the time when you pick up this animal, you have equal or fewer points than your opponent, score a point. The only reason they say equal uh, or fewer is because you can have equal down here at the zero. Notice the space is nice and big. Uh, and so you will immediately score a point. So one of the strategies is Steph scores a point by taking one. Then I take one point, which surely gives me two points. Sort of hopping along like that. So, uh, you took a tar. I um, did. You did. And then that we're, is... Well, we're also playing with hidden goals, which are oh, pretty yes. simple. Uh, you can show. I won't look. All right. So, um, at the end of the game, I'm going to score one point for each meeple and two points for each camp if I have placed, for every one of them that I've placed in this section, not that region. So in each of these regions, I want to have that particular number on each of these regions, if I can. It's gonna give me extra bonus points, so that'll be nice. Yeah. So Steph also has one. There's one for each section number. So maybe she has the one. 
Who knows? We'll see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am going to take little number three here. Put my little meeple down. I don't know if it's better if I stand him up for you or not. Uh, that's going to give me one point, and it's going to move him to region three. Thus mm -hmm. ends my turn. Uh, the game is going to continue back and forth like this until both players both players place all their hikers or all their scoring cubes. So um, there is another end game scoring variant. Um, so after after we've placed all of our hikers, we're going to score the regions uh, in order from one to six. If you have four camps and or hikers in a region, score a point. If five, score two points. If six, score three points. Are we going to use that variant this time? Um, I don't know. You don't know. You have to tell a joke if you have one. Oh. <laughs> I might just have one. So, did you hear about the guy who fell into the upholstery machine? He's fully recovered now. Recovered. Because that's what upholstery is. <laughs> okay. That's Small friend good. is just blinking at me. Too soon. Too soon for what? Too soon. <laughs> you. Me. Yeah. Oh, did you? You took this one. Yeah. What's this? Trying to get my dudes together. Trying to get your dudes together. Well, I don't like any of this mess. Nope. Uh, so I guess I will uh, take this down here. And leave him. <laughs> mm. So yeah, we're okay. We'll not do the end game scoring variant because you didn't say we were doing it. Goat. Goat. But just know that is available. Moving it to six. Hmm. Swap animals. Technically, how can you have six different? Oh, yeah, you can make it the same as it is. You could have six different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I don't want to let you have. I don't. I, I don't want to let you have like a a, a, a set. Hmm. Mm. No. Yep. Don't want to let you have it. Mm -hmm. I will take that, and he will stay. Well, that's mm, poor. It's not great. Um, sure, I will swap this the and this so I can take this. Oh, you do have the one. Look at you. Did, no, did you move the... You didn't move oh, that. Oh, he either. needs to go up here. He needs to move. Back to the tip top. Tip it top air. To the tip tip top. Well, you made panic laugh, so that's what counts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone actually fell to a mattress machine at the Purple Factory? What? Did not know it was too soon, but hey, it legit is too soon. Did so he died? He, I don't, I, I don't know if he's recovered or not. Wow. I didn't know. Wow. Who knows these things? Um. Hey, I took that. What I want to do? It's a good question. My guys have no plan. I'm gonna move to here. And take this one. What? How'd you move it there? You did the. You used the power of the 
the yak looking thing. Are you going to cl- turn in now? No. No. That would be silly. Silly, Michael. Silly, Michael. Silly, Michael. Maples are super cute. Yeah. I think they're just a little too small to put a googly eyes on it, though. Oh, sorry. He's not supposed to be there. <laughs> you got to move these things I or I don't know. I forget. I mean, I'm sitting there making my strategy decision. You mess it up for me. Yep. It's the whole plan all along. No. <laughs> no. So you have to move it up. Uh, mm. did it. No. Yeah. That's what just happened. Yeah, I know. Could do that. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not doing that. (laughs) I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Not doing that. Not doing that. You don't have to do that. Mm. Mm. Actually, I could do that. I could do this, and then I will move it. He goes up to the three, and then I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it, move it. like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move, move it. it. I'm going to move it back down to the six, and then I'm going to swap. No, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all. Because you are you can move... Oh, you can't move two animals anywhere. You've already used it. I've used, used it. it. Oh, yes, you've used it, used it. Hmm. You'd like to use it. It's fairly abstract. Yeah, it is. It is very abstract. I'm going to move this, I think. Sure. So is it staying here? That's where I put him. All right. I put him there and then I moved two animals. Okay. Trying to keep him from you. Yeah. Um, people and animals. Swap a person and an animal. Mm-hmm. They have to be adjacent. Yes. People and people. Yes. Oh, I kind of like this. Oof. This guy right here. So he's going to go right here. Correct. Then what? Um, could move him and then... Hmm. Oh, there's nowhere... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to be done. You can take your six different animals if you want. I'm going to take six different animals. Yep. <laughs> There's nothing I could do to stop you, though. No. Nope. You you're going to get blue no matter what. I'm going to swap two adjacent. Mm-hmm. Just because. Well, keep those apart. Yeah, sure. Um... It's not going to matter because all you're going to do is move them back. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Three, four, five, six different animals. That gives me nine points. And it moves to the one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 
So if I move him, he can move anywhere? One more time? If I move him, he can move to any space. If you move him. Yes. If you move him to, with, with, with the, yeah, you, you don't move him, you activate his ability. Right. And he, yes. But he can go anywhere. Yes. Anywhere. Mm. Anywhere. I'll just do this instead. Put him on the six. Uh, I will take little dude number two and I think these dudes are gone. I'll turn these into tents. Giving me four points. So you took the two? I took the two, yes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so yeah, the hikers... I believe are gone gone when you switch them out. Um, yes, do not return hikers used to build camps to your own supply. Instead, return them to the box, which that's up here. Boo. Yeah, it's very abstract. Yeah, I'll take this. Good. And you can come over here. You took a goat. Wow, you just like collecting everything? <laughs> yeah, ready to, waiting for my chance to strike. Oh, I see that. No, I am running out of chances to score things. I mean, there's literally like seven more turns in the game. Uh, wow. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the options you gave me. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you weren't supposed to get nine. You're supposed to get eight because it's different animals. Uh, yeah, a bunch of cheating going on here. Yeah, I'm a cheater, I'm a cheater face. Mm-hmm. I guess I will take number five. Number five. Moving this down. No. Okay. Okay. I'll take a goat. What's a goat? This thing. <laughs> you in that tar? Yeah. So this will end up going here, but I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. I need to switch meeples with you. I need to switch an animal like this, and then I need to switch a meeple like this. <laughs> this, 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 this. And? I will score six tenths for seven points. I think I got every number. Uh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Good job on getting that goal completed. I'm doing well with my goal. If there was a that, if we had done the end game scoring thing <laughs> as well, then it would be a, it'd be a wreck for you right now because it's two, two, and two, none of which would score. Not great. Which that's pretty funny. 
Well, this is uh, not great. I guess I will take number three and leave him there. I don't know. I guess I'll just take this guy. One point. And go like that. And I will score five different. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it moves. I will take this little dude, placing this here. And then and then what? I, I don't know. A score point. Boom. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do. You. Right. Oh, do this. Put them in the corner. And uh, blah. Blah. I've got not enough turns left to do everything. I guess I'll just do three of the same. Three of the same. Six points. I will take this one, moving this up here. I am going to sort some dudes. One. Come on. two, three, and I want to score five camps <laughs> right down the line. Oh, that sucked. Yeah. Where did you place, though? One. Hmm. That will give me six whopping points. 14 and six is 20 right behind you. Put him in the corner. Yeah. Yep. That's what's good. That's what's happening. It's quiet out there. It's very quiet out there.
Here's the question. Do I want to take this for two whopping points? I don't think I do. So, that would be you. Mm. Yeah, not good, not good. Just do that. And keep them. It does keep him. There, and you know what, I'll use these two. No, I'm not going to use them yet. I don't have to. So, you. Me. Hey, Team On. Hey, Team On. Hey, Derek. Two, three, four. Is that one of your new emotes from random subscriptions you were given? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to trade these out. By doing that. And you're putting the meeple where? Uh, I guess I can put these out. But it's sort of like being behind you. Okay. So you don't get bonuses. I do have two more. This is going down here, though, right? Uh, yes. I do have... Um, I do have um, two more hikers, so it's not like I have to do it immediately. Alternatively... No, I think that's probably. If I didn't use that, then I would actually get to bounce two points. But I wouldn't get this thing. So, I would put it here and take the two points. You would still move down here. So that would be using this guy? Or? No, not using that guy. Oh. I would use him in order to take this one instead. Mm -hmm. If I don't use it, then I just get him and take the extra point. Okay. And that will uh, put me at uh, 22. 22. It sort of goes weird through there. Um, small friends. Small friends. They are small friends. No, that's 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 not good. I have to do that. I have to do that. I have no choice. I can't take the extra two points. So, I will go there. I'll just have to swap the dudes to do it. Have to do it. Okay. And? Scoring or? No, not scoring. 
not score. It doesn't. It that doesn't benefit me to score. Because mm. then I end up in front of you, and you score points if you can pick up those. I mean, I could swap animals right now and pick them up, but yeah. That's the point. Right. If you're ahead, you don't get points. You don't understand. If at the time you pick this up, if you are behind, then you get a point. Otherwise, no point. It's not happy that he's there. In, in four? Yeah. Yeah. Take it. And what am I going to do? What are you going to do? I'll go I'll swap one. You're moving this here. That I'm not happy swap with. Swap two. And swap three. And then I'll score four of the same animals. Four of the same. Yeah, that's why I couldn't do it, because you would have shut me out of that. Seven. So your 21 and 7 is 28. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I couldn't do it. Womp womp. Well, this guy is going to be stranded. <laughs> I do get a point for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is anything worth seven? No, I can get eight or five. Almost like I'm going to get five. One, two, three, four, five. I have one hiker and one cube. This is baloney. Baloney. I'm gonna just take this dude. <laughs> like that. Like that. And I'm going to swap these two, I guess. These two. Even though it doesn't matter if I, I mean. You can only have three anyway. Is. I could do three of different animals for five points. Three different animals for five is good. Good. Could I still put down five tenths? No, that that you can't do. You have to put a scoring cube into the corresponding space on the points chart. All right, I did that. And each space can only hold one scoring cube. What did what did you do? I did three different animals for five points. And you went. Yes. All right. Dang, why are you one space ahead? Oh, I know. He's up here. He is up there. Not much choice. No, it looks like I'm taking one of these things. Yeah. Yakety yak. Don't talk back. Five of these. Yeah. Million points for you. Eight points. One and eight is nine. Well, all right. All right. So, is that all? That's all of everything. Well, so. Yeah. Here's where you beat me. Here's where I have Pete Steph, because I have number three. I knew it. That's two points and two points and two points and one point is seven points. Nine and seven, 16. Number six. Oh, you had number six. Two points, three, four, five. Eight and five is 13. Had we done the end game scoring variant, it would have been... Camps and or hikers, that would have been a point for me. This would have been a point for you. That's even. That's nothing. This would have been two points for you, and that's nothing. So it, wouldn't, it would not have affected scoring any, other than giving additional points. Good job. I beat him the other day. You did beat me the other not day. not today. So now it's like a split victory here. What'd you get? Uh, the, the sixteen space. So three less, three less, three more than you. So what did I get? All right, twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I got thirty-three. <laughs> I got, no. 
No. You got 38. I got 38. 41. <laughs> I don't like 25 on the score track. It makes it very difficult. <laughs> so, uh, it, it's fairly abstract. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's fine. It's You sort of have to decide, hey, when do you want to strike? When do you not want to strike? You know, things like that. So, I think it's pretty cute. Yeah. I, I mean, it feels different. I obviously love the little meeples. Um, yeah, I mean, you're making And some, if you have an idea for the bear token... Some good... I'll put them on me so you can actually see them. Oh, my God. <laughs> little, little bear token. Good choices in a fast time. Yes. They call themselves, what, the king of fillers or something? Yeah, someone had... I can't remember what where it was said, but it... It, uh, it called Dr. Finn Games the king of fillers. So... And, uh, I mean, that's held pretty much true. So, yeah. So, the expansion goes in a sleeve. In the expansion sleeve. You don't have to do that. With the bear. Where are you going to let the bear? You can't let the bear just roam. Yeah. Bear friends. Yeah. I think it's pretty cute. Yeah. So far, I'm enjoying these uh, these four games. Well, we've played two out of the four. So two far. out of the four. And we'll be playing the other two sometime soon. Yeah. And you know what? It's easy to fit them in because they're fillers. Chopper Dan thinks it was Rado. It could have been Rado who said it. King of fillers. King of fillers. And but like I say, it's since it's since they're fillers, we can fit them in. Like, hey, I got some time. You know, after work, before Taekwondo or whatever. Of course, James and I, we say anything under two hours is a filler, so... Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Uh, wait, which one is this? This is your size bag? So, yeah. And then that must be the Aminals bag. Small friends. They're really cute. Uh, I, I do like the powers, the little activation abilities and stuff. Yeah. And it, it, it does give interesting decisions. There's not one best move, though it is sort of... You know, I don't think it's solvable, but, I, you know, if, I, if I'm sort of picking up on what you're trying to do, I'm going to you know, obviously try to block it. You know, there's a limited amount of blocking you can do because I you can I didn't want you to take all the six and, spaces, so I started going for ones. I, I thought you wanted ones. I know. From the start, I thought you wanted I ones. I know. That's what I wanted you to think. And it worked. <laughs> no, did, because I still you did didn't it. get the six spaces because you got the six spaces. Well, I, that was in, not intentional. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Like and then, the, and then it was then like a six down here. Like, six space. I'm like, uh, yeah. Mm. 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 And I was on this one. I'm like, surely she wants this. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I but did. Not, not for the reasons I, I thought. I wanted to make a big campsite so I could get two sixes. Oh, a big but, bottom row like I did on our first, on I my first game. It, so. Yeah. No go. <laughs> so it's fun. Yeah, it's good. I like yeah. it. Manga Parbat from two Dr. Players. Games. Two players, so if you exactly. Two players, it's uh, good for you. Yep. We'll be, we'll right, be back. right back.